at the end of our Mass, you are going to hear these words, the Mass is ended. We know the meaning of ending. The movie ends. The job ends. Or the trip ends. The meal is ended. There are two types of endings. The first type of ending is the terminal ending. The terminal ending ends all possibilities. The terminal ending is certified by the doctor, you're dead. It is terminal, it is irreversible. But there is a second type of ending. It is called Pascal ending. Pascal ending means something or somebody ends, but there is a new life that is born from the ending. When we speak of Paschal ending, it is like getting married. That is death. When you get married, you die. You die to singlehood. But you are born as a married person. When I was ordained a priest 36 years ago, I died. I died as a bachelor. But I was born after I died and I became a priest. For example, you leave the country as an OFW. You die because you leave somebody behind. But there is a new life waiting for you outside the country. That is called Paschal ending. That is called Paschal death. Endings are important. Endings are very important because there are some lessons in life that we cannot learn simply by living. There are lessons in life that we can learn by the point of view of endings. For example, if you know that you are going to live only for one month, will you still postpone forgiveness? If you know that you're going to live only for three days, will you still fight? If you know that you're only going to live for three hours, will you still say bad words? Will you still lie? Will you still cheat? For the last three hours of your life, do you want to kill people? When you look at things, from the perspective of endings, we turn to be better persons. Alam natin yun. Ilang tao na ba ang bumait kasi kamuntik ng mamatay? Ilang tao ba ang nagsabing, Panginoon, maawa ka kasi nagkaroon ng sakit na pwede nilang ikamatay? Ilang tao ba ang nagsabing, Lord, help me because there was an accident. In other words, when we remember the ending, we turn to return to the basics. And the basics are actually always the best basics for us. Endings give us the right perspective. Second, endings lead us to new beginnings. The Gospel says, the world will end. The gospel says, the moon and the stars will fall. The gospel says, the earth will crumble and explode. That is an end. But it is only through that end that there can be a new heaven and a new earth. There can be no newness as the Lord wants it for us unless the temporary things come to an end. Ibig sabihin po, ang lahat ng katapusan, kapag pinasok natin doon si Jesus, ay hindi na magiging katapusan, kundi katapusan lang ng isang chapter, ng isang libro. At makikita natin, chapter 1 lang pala, at wala palang last page ang aklat ni Jesus. When the end comes, 
and then we turn the page and allow the Lord to open for us more pages. Then we come to understand that the book of life has no last page. That we will keep on turning the page, turning the page, turning the page until forever. Only because we accepted the mystery, the lessons of endings. Endings give us perspective. Endings open new beginnings. Ang pangatlo, salamat may ending. Let us thank God that there are endings. Can you imagine if there are no endings and you are in pain? Can you imagine if there are no endings and you are always in anguish? Can you imagine there are no endings and you are suffering? When you are suffering, when you are in pain, when your body is aching, when the whole world seems to be crumbling on you, don't you wish it will end? So endings are actually gifts of mercy. Because if God is not merciful with us, we will suffer endlessly. If God is not merciful with us, we will be in pain endlessly. That is why the end can also be called a gift of God's mercy. When the needles do not disturb us in the hospital anymore, when the nurses do not wake us up at night anymore, when the tubes are not given to us anymore, when bitter medicines are not given to us to swallow anymore, then sickness has ended. And isn't that a grace? Endings are also blessings for those who suffer. Endings are new beginnings for those who are blessed, for those who allow the Lord to accompany them. And endings give us the right perspective because when the end comes, we only hold to the, to the important things and the less important things are discarded. Today, when you hear those words, the Mass is ended, and you say, thanks be to God, whisper a prayer of thanksgiving for the endings. Endings give us perspective. Endings give us new beginnings. And endings are gifts because they end our pain and suffering. Lord, you are the beginning. We praise you. Lord, you are the end. We glorify you.